Hey, back again to new video guys. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath Sampax YouTube channel, and this is Poco X3 or the X3 NFC custom ROM reviews. Back with new video Horizon Droid version 2.3. I already made it 2.2 version. You have shown uh, incredible response there. The UI is also really, really responsive. Android version is 14 here. It has been improved compared to 2.2. Let's see what all the things we get in this particular ROM, like Feb February. Mm, 5th February 2024 is the security patch. Kernel used there is 4.14.336 or two slight kernel has been used in this particular ROM guys. Build number you can see the link status is M4C. This is the Android 14 build and this is typical home screen what we can get in this particular ROM and these are the quick settings toggles. In the edit section there are few toggles if you want to add them drag and add them into the main quick settings toggle. It is really smooth guys, the quick setting struggles, even better than Pixel OS and Evolution X. It's a slight margin, but there is a difference guys. And this is the typical home screen, if I press and hold here, again wallpaper and style. You get this lock screen customizations here. As you can see, these are the only visual change we can see from Android 13 to Android 14. And you can even adjust the clock size here, dynamic and small. This looking a little bit so adjustable to this particular ROM guys and you can also change the colors here you can even add dark theme from here and into more wallpapers you get some wallpaper sprints from there I really like the font default fonts here it is getting reloaded anyhow a wallpaper and image workshop and some minerals and living universe are given here other than that no wallpapers has been improved included here shortcuts and more lock skin options you get these things here into home screen again you get this app grid up to 5 into 5 and themed icons is given here let's apply that yeah this is how it looks like in the home screen not in the app drawer and this is a typical home screen what I said and this is a quick settings toggle let's see the settings panel here this is very much smooth guys the UI is really really smooth comparing it is a snapdragon 732g smartphone powered smartphone you need to uh, remember that and gestures again you get all the swipe to three fingers screenshot one handed mode navigation mode again if i go into that into gesture navigation there is no option to increase the gesture bar length and radius but still it's okay but not great here you can completely hide them out the gesture bar if you want you can do that there is some uh, again i will try to do that again there will be option anyhow there is a app crash here or something I have noticed anyhow you can revert back three button navigation and double tap to check the phone if you want you can enable that prevent ringing and other gestures controls you can access from here actually digital well-being and parental controls are given here you also get the slash notification and the access built menu before that we'll see this uh, security and privacy settings you won't get any app locker here but fingerprint unlock and face unlock are given let's check the speeds yeah fingerprint unlock is quite fast here yeah and face or look recognizing face when it will recognize yeah it is little bit delay but yeah you need to give some more uh, face models then it will be easy in my opinion and we'll come back here again accessibility menu as i said before you get link to windows which i self speak tap back display size and text you can control here I mean, you can increase or decrease based upon the quick settings, toggle size you want, bold text, high contrast text, magnification, and other things like audio description, flash notifications, what I explained previously, audio adjustment, I mean, left and right combination, I mean, the stereo separation, you can adjust that. Call for personal style, I already shown that into the display again. There are some these animations, I really like it. Here it is showing in display fingerprint scan, but we don't have that. Brightness level adaptive brightness is working fine here. Lock screen again, you get these options. Screen timeout up to 30 minutes and screen attention is also given here. Dark theme into dark theme. If I enable that, turn on now. Yeah, there is option to schedule, but there is no option to uh, make pitch black condition at least here. Let's see. Turn off. Yeah. And display size and text night light feature again, you get intensity to adjust and schedule them out. Colors, you get three options here. Other the skin refresh it kept it one to keep it 120 adapter see guys even with 60 has it was so smooth if it was kept 120 how would it be let me know in the comment section and tap to wake tap to sleep both are working fine 
now the refresh rate is a little bit faster here hence uh, you can choose 120 if you want to disable that it will be completely then 120 hertz if it is supported each and every app sound and web is again you get plenty of options here too special audio adaptive sound uh, live caption media again vibration and haptics again you can individually select them out additional sounds you get these things perhaps while you come button those are the options what you get in the battery again battery percentage this is simply i don't think so it's not going to work charging controls are given in the charging mode you get three options here battery widget you can directly add from here battery saver you get this thing extreme battery saver is not given battery usage is it recorded no but I've been using this from last uh, one day, guys. It's really smooth, as you can see. The battery life you can expect around uh, seven hours, minimum of seven hours, based upon the uh, auto brightness you have kept in this. Around 50%, it is going to give you seven hours on basic usage. If you're on heavy uh, kind of usage, then you will be getting around four hours maximum. I mean, continuous gaming, you will get four hours, 15 minutes like that. And battery, I have explained here. And going into Harjan Labs here, about team you can check out quick settings toggles. You will see some options here like battery styles. There are plenty actually. Color DQS notification icons. If you want, you can enable that. Brightness percentage if you want to see. Yeah, that also you can enable from here. And some options you can check out. Status bar again. If you want to keep the logo as I kept already, the Horizon Broad logo, you can even position them and there are some different. Uh, set of logos also you can enable that in the status bar again battery percent and battery style you can select from here and network traffic indicator also if you enable that you'll get some more options here if you want to hide that you can do show wi-fi type icon select old hd icon again there are few more options here too view wi-fi icon also you get some ui based icons into themes again setting styles you get it yeah that's this is what i am saying use black theme force black background colors that's present under the hood of origin laps notifications again edge lighting if you want to turn that out you can turn it out some options you get here i really like it and lock screen again you get these options media cover art the blur level you can adjust from here and the miscellaneous settings you get advanced restart button and pay animation style if you want you can do that unlimited photo storage that's available here unlock high fps in games in PGMA kind of things, those are given. Use storage encryption, spoofing if you want, you can do that. These are the options present in the miscellaneous settings. And the themes, yeah, these are the things I did not show you. Anyhow, these are the things you get in the Horizon Labs. And now this was uh, changed a little bit, as you can see. It's similar to Superior OS Extended and Superior Strong OS. And these are one and the same, but there are some differences and UI responses. This one is really, really responsive in my opinion for at least Poco X3 slash nfc regarding dialer you get this kind of dialer guys you guys can see direct video call feature are available here and even the call recording feature is available but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call so map presence we can see here what all the apps pre-included here in the rom here you can see here you get a leica integrated hyper os camera guys this is a miui hyper os camera you get some options here too and the video mode yeah 4k 724 yeah let me yeah in the 4k you also get no 30 fs that's fine you will get those options that's the camera if you want to use any g cam port you can use that case and oxio here uh, in the previous video also i explained here you can actually listen the offline videos uh, sorry audios files you can access them from here fm radio is also pre-included here no need to worry and even in that tune this is kind of um something yeah offline and online both the audio files you can read from here and link to windows is pre-installed here anyhow we'll come back here again uh, nothing like file manager has been included calculator is google one everything is fine here i haven't faced any issue as of now and the app uh, there are no bloatwares anything like that in some of the roms they might add the bloatware but here that is not the case we'll show some results here continue yeah you guys can see this is the Geekbench uh, 6.2.2 for 100, uh, 7454 is a single score, 1842 is a multi and Android version is 14 links, 4.1, 4.36 is the kernel used, and again, this is the 
sorry yeah 5545 is the score what i got in the and benchmark was on 10.2.3 guys 4.2 degrees Celsius is the temperature is and three percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing on this poco x slash nfc guys and this is the uh safety and status results what i got here you guys can check out here both cts profile mat and basic integrity getting past here hence you can use all the payment applications and uh, wide one level one certification up to hdr 10 and level one certification has been done here and this is wi-fi connection with atl giga fiber i'm getting around this and these are the reader speed test with numericals and graphicals and charging rapidly that's there here yeah, these are the things and we'll be seeing bgma gameplay guys and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon let's see speed test here later we can see the gaming experience how we can get in this particular rom and these are the speed test case i haven't faced as of now there are no such issues in this particular room if you have any specify in the comment section i will be answering them let others know how this rom is if you are using it as a daily driver i have found this as a very good alternative rom for poco x slash nfc as of now android 14 based roms are uh, good and this is one among them guys and if you are still not joined the whatsapp group for poco x slash nfc you can join in the uh, description there are links how to flash this rom what the firmware i used everything will be given in the description check out the description if you want to follow me on the social media also you should check out on the description and let's see bgm and how it handles in this particular rom Even though I have said that in the miscellaneous settings, I have enabled actually the have discount. But the disappointed is the only ultra options here. Even in any of the options, it's not available. Just ultra only the 40 FS game player. This, this thing that would have been fixed in the upcoming beast might be fixed. As of now, it is not that uh, gaming here. I mean, good for gaming. It's a little bit choppy comparing this with the this. Makes quite obvious one. Yeah, as you can see, when I opened the <laughs> Yeah. The gaming experience could have been better, but that's what here uh just the uh options of high fps that's the only thing here but overall if you can look out the camera application and stability in the view and the smoothness in the view is much better than what i said pixel waves and um even the sear droid and the evolution x they are also good just marginally this is little bit better this version is little more better uh that you can try it out as a daily guess but i don't know how long this will provide updates to you that's the one main thing people look for any custom rom available anyhow this is how the horizon droid 2.3 guys uh if you have any specifications comment down in the comment section and if you're still not join the whatsapp group for poke slash nfc you can join that group and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button guys we'll meet with another interesting video guys until that keeps running bye bye for now